for a while because he wouldn't quit being, being behind bars. How do they think my baby's called him? My son is almost eight years old. Let that sink in. I would like to read a poem that was wrote for my son by a lovely lady called Cheryl Robinson from the group We Hear You. The world down through Jesse's eyes. I was a happy, carefree little boy, then my life changed. A child rapist entered my life, and from that day my life was rearranged. He took away my innocence before I even knew what it was. He left my family heartbroken, fighting a never-ending cause. See, they were justice for me, and they bravely fight for this every day. The pedophile should be held to account, so another little boy from a fair childhood taken away. I know my mommy loves me, and I know that she's so sad. I don't really understand why I'm only five years old, a small lad. I try my best to be happy and play and fool around, just like any other little boy, but at night I'm scared and break down. I didn't used to wet the bed, and I wasn't safe with light hairs. I used to sleep soundly before I was told the system go here. You see, my bed was blocked me whilst I'm now locked in a world of my own. Because my rapist has learning difficulties, it seems the violence is congruent. He is deemed a vulnerable adult, but I'm just a little boy. What will this man do next? My mommy is scared of our childhood he will destroy. I may not have been the first, and my mommy's fear is I will be the last. How many of us will be hurt and be haunted by our past? I don't know what my future holds, and I know my mommy worries. She wants me to grow up happy, but like down there is no hurry. I want to be a carefree boy and enjoy my childhood. My mommy will make that happen, but that night the name is misunderstood. Maybe that is why mommy cries, because she sees just how much I have changed. The world now seems an unsafe place, all because I met a man with an age. I don't want that man to hurt others, but no one listens to me. I'm just a little boy that the justice system don't care to see. But what happens in the future if this man continues to walk me? Will the next little boy be killed? Or will there be other short like me? I know my mommy wants him in jail, and that means he doesn't walk around me. I think that is a good thing because he can't do to others what he did to me. It's not nice having nightmares and it's not nice spending the bed. It's not nice being, not being able to trust and it's not nice remembering what he said. My mummy's life has changed but he did, his remains the same. He hasn't been punished and so he hasn't been told he's to blame. If he doesn't think he's a bad man then mummy worries others will be hurt. He's told he is beyond the law and can carry on being a pervert. One day I will be a teenager and eventually a grown man. Will I be haunted by that night? I know that's not in mummy's plans. So she will carry on fighting for justice, and that makes me so proud. I know she really loves me, and she was out of her way to shout that out loud. Still, I want to, us all to be happy, but that day when everything changed, but well, life will never be normal again. It seems everything has been rearranged. I'm still that little boy, and there is still joy in my soul. That day may have changed everything, but he doesn't deserve to have control. He may be beyond the law, it seems, and the justice system is a joke. But I will be as happy as I can because my family is in broke. My mother will always love me, and that fills me with joy. She tries to make everything better because I will always be her little boy. Be it now or in the future, she will always do best by me. So that day doesn't have to change everything because my family still sees me. And what as I am with the world, and she is always by my side, that will always be the case, and so we can all live on with pride. Justice for Justice
Come on, You boy, 
Comme il y a un gros verre, soit tu te sois, nous les tenions, il te met à ça. Donc, quand il y a un taille de l'eau, elle vit dans un mois de l'eau, il y a un cas, qui est un stade, flot, mais tu te rends bien à peu. Et tu ne m'as pas dit, tu m'as pris très bien. Et tu m'as dit, c'est ce qu'il y a. Et là, tu te rends bien à l'eau, en bas. Het is wat in sectie naar binnen, de rand voor ons af is dat die kunnen als man, maar tuurlijk niet ook op het massabrisje, voor ons, dat is voor ons, en dat voor ons, de kreten. Alle spokken ook voor de kleine schier, dat is dat juist, behaald. Op de naast mij niet eens, wat ik in de was niet ook met de hoog, altijd. En nou is dat juist. Aber ich kenne mich noch, dass ich in Korea vorhin wohnen muss. Da war mein Doktor Davidson. Und dann hat er gewonnen. Er hat nur gewöhnt vor uns. Und dann hat er gewonnen. Ich freue mich mit Matthäus. Er hat nie gemacht. Er hat nicht mehr in der Rede. Er hat uns gerade am Schlaf und Freunde, wie es gibt, wo wir uns am Posten mit dem Denken nehmen. Er hat uns Schlaf und Freunde, aber er hat gesagt, nein, 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 nein. Maar één of het kraaien, dat is mijn trouwe. Je weet, je hebt de baan die daar komt, je hebt nog te receive. Maar dat is vloggen in je leven. Al is het beter dat je niet moet komen. Als je dat is, als je dat niet hebt, dan zie je dat niet. En je rommel zo. Als je naar je land gaat, is het straat niet te gaan, abuus te gaan, vloog te gaan. Maar zo moet je dat je al vreemd te gaan maken, dat je dat is goed dat je het helpt met. Als je vreemd was, je ook, je ook met. En dan wordt het dan. En dan is het maar wat je nou moet betekenen, dat je maar vreemd hebt met het. Zo dan. Of vreemd dan. Waarom dat je het al niet zo verdekt met zelf? Als je ook al niet als je dat maakt, nee, boy. Wel alleen maar stomach. En ik heb iets vuur in mijn baard. Zodat ik het beug. En die is heel beug niet. Dat is echt een lezen team. Tot ze in mijn baard. Ik voel tot ze in mijn baard. En ook dan nu ik dat vast. Aan Peter Vrijk. Hij staat niet van ik het uit. En toch moet ik bijna een vrij maar beest met de mijne hand. Ik heb niet vrij gehaald, ik heb niet wel af. Is het ook niet meer, nou, per abuse als een smoefse toe op de meters. Dat is een honderd en eten op ons Korea's Warriors, ook fijn van justice. We want Korea's Warriors, ik dacht dat ze hebben dat volgende, dat ze hebben het vies te doen. Nee, maar niet, ja, dat ze hebben dat volgende. Anyways, we say Nicola en Kroos. We got a paper. The commitment night, the 26th of September 1964. That prevents anyone who was abused before the 26th of September 1964. We cannot take our abuser. I'm the one still alive. I can't take him before. I said, I've seen him once, and he was looking at me laughing as he walked by. I see many of the people who are abused. Children in there, and it is just like us. We didn't meet one. I let you do that, but it's really the one we made. But my God, she smelled like me when we met up. I was just saying to the girls once. Four times. I'm like, 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 in the woods, don't tell anyone the sun will look in there. I've just killed him many times, I've tried to hang myself, slap my wrists, walk out in front of trains, cars, I've done it, I've been there. I've been there. I was succeeded in 2011. I took a note of those that I was in my mama was here. I'm not a big drinker, but I managed to take a lot of us here and make all these rules. I can remember, it was a day, one day, I remember sitting in the living room. 
Mann war hier. Max Mann. Und ich habe gesagt, dass er gehen war. Das ist so, als man war in Berlin vor. Wir an den Regen. Hallo, Herr Kurvarius. Nein. Wir haben den Regen. Wir kommen. Und wir haben noch nicht so.
I didn't understand that either. But when I was about to four, that's when they decided to make me proper. I was broken. I was born with no fingers. Sorry, could you hold that? With no fingers on this. I had that. This I thought. I had that finger, that finger, but that was just the top. You know, just one rock. Same here. Corias didn't have any disabled children when I was in. So I was sent to York Hill Hospital. And over the months and over the years, they decided to stretch the bones. So what they did was they cut in between each knuckle and top. They put pins and rods. Have you ever seen somebody that broke their leg? And they put these metal bits in to stretch and to heal it. That's what they put on my fingers. And every month they'd stretch the bone as much as they could. But in between that, I still had to be a poster child. I still had to stand pretty and smile. What you didn't see was the young ladies had to wear white gloves. So in the picture, I'm standing with this hand under this hand with the white gloves on. They used to fill the fingers bit of the gloves with either a thimble or rolled up cardboard. They would force my fingers in there. What you didn't see was the blood that was dripping down. That's how I ended up being broken again. All through my life, I have a visual reminder of my abuse. People can put it away for a bit. You know, yeah, you were abused as a child, you can put it away, I don't want to face it today. But from the minute I wake up in the morning to the minute I go to sleep at night, that's my reminder. That's my reminder of what Gloria has done to me. Sexually, I know now that it was wrong. But I've got to remember, I was a child. They were meant to take care of me. For years, I thought it was my fault. I thought, right, I'll dye my hair. I don't need to be blonde anymore. I'll dye my hair. I even wore contact lenses to change the color of my eyes. Because I thought I was the one that was making them do these things to me. But I now know I wasn't the one that was wrong. So to Nicholas Thurston and to all these MPs, who just went under the carpet and say, sign a bit of paper and I'll give you money. Well, they're in for a shot, because I've already started the legal proceedings against Corius. But I'm not going to finish with Corius. I'm going to take on the Scottish Government as well. Well done! Yeah. 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 The decoys of the zoo and lessons to these stories. I don't know how you can do it. I saw it every three point that because by Christ I was the government for us when we were kids. We never had any protection. For 180 years, I won in our group. From Corey's Warriors, there's another children's school. I'm proud of what I do. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of my partner, Jane. I'm proud of so many that I look around about here and I see today. I thank each and every one of these for coming here today. As I see, I've not just taken back on the 21st of September, from the end. Because the warriors are coming and our horses are going to be here. Yeah. And we're not stopping here. And the king says, we are going for it, Scottish government. 
We are part of the We are one of We have one vote. I'm facing a hard days. God bless each and everybody. God bless each and everybody. I'm sorry, all of Hi, everybody. Welcome to our school. Just want to start by saying thanks to everybody who put us together. And thanks for choosing our school to come in. We started campaigning for children around seven years ago when we realised Scotland had a massive problem with grooming gangs. Massive problem with child trafficking and paedophile rings. We started trying to raise awareness of these issues, and that's when we realised that these issues run much deeper than we could ever imagine. <laughs> While we're doing this, that's when I met Mandy. For the last two years, we've been working endlessly trying to expose the dark side of Scotland and expose the beasts that are hurting our children. Expose Scotland! Yes! <laughs> we have campaigned constantly for change by doing petitions, letters, emails, demos, anything we can think of we've been doing it. And there's no change because people don't care. People do not care because it's for their children. But it could be, it will be one day. There are children on the same phone the streets of Scotland after all. People really need to start listening. Our children are being exploited, they're being trafficked and they're being murdered. Nicola Sturgeon says this is all a myth and it doesn't happen. It is not a myth that a hundred men were grooming gang walked free back into the streets of Glasgow after abusing 150 young girls. It's not a myth that 27,133 children have went missing in Scotland since 2018. It's not a myth that 65,000 kids have been the victim of sexual offences in Scotland in the last five years. And it is not a myth that 282 children were trafficked from Scotland between 2012 and 2018. This is real guys that's happening. And now is the time to unite and break the silence. Until our country is a safer place and changes being made, we'll continue to raise awareness and support survival. Because we 
might see any protection and when you've got his worries, it's the same story, time and time again, they disappear in the system. And ultimately you've heard me talking about their countries worldwide are run by a satanic system. I just wanted to explain a wee bit about that today when I say Satanists and satanic. Satanists are people who like to inflict harm and they like to cause fear and they like to have their escape. This is our system. Our system constantly constantly inflicts trauma on people. They don't support them. They constantly are weak in their system. They send up all their resources. They're probably abusing people. This is what I mean by satanic. They're Satanists. They built this system to protect them and them only. They, did, they built it to control us. This is where the Satanism comes in. It's built to control us, to keep us in order, to tell us what to do, to control right down to what poor or rich. This is the system that we built to protect them. The justice system in Scotland, the last year to research it, there's a massive paedophile ring in the justice system in Scotland. Now how are we ever supposed to get a paedophile prosecuted? When the paedophiles are running the system, the paedophiles make the laws, they are the law, they create the laws. So that is why we shout for we need common law, we need people to stand up for the children, because our children are the only future we have. And if we want to break the silence, then this is the generation to do it. Ultimately the generation is the child up to the silence and we speak under the carpet, nobody spoke about it. Well we are not afraid to speak about it anymore, so we all just need to get together and get louder for the children, make a safe space for survivors and victims to come forward and tell their stories and we'll build cases against them ourselves and we'll take them down ourselves because we've got enough cases between us. Probably 90% of our population is a survivor of a satanic system because they've been through the system their whole entire life and we have a chance now to, regardless of what they're saying about COVID, we've got children being raped and abused and doctors in our country every single day. The care system that are the ones that are doing it, they're the ones that are the, the biggest threat for the abusers and traffickers. They see our children as housings, they pass them to the authority, to the authority, and ultimately it's about how much money. And like I said at the end of it, they're thrown out of the streets with drug addictions and alcohol addictions, and they're no credible witnesses in court against these people. This is what we're trying to change. We need to change it. We need to get strong witnesses and take them to court, like Sandy and Jane. we have is we don't have money but I'm sure if we all get together we can get, we can deal with something, we can get these people in court. So, well, we'll get there guys but ultimately we just want everybody to start standing for the children. Um, and I'm going to pass you back on to Laura for a wee bit about the grooming gangs in our city at the moment. We've got a massive problem with children being trafficked across our city and nobody's doing nothing. That's why you get people being more in the streets or more often just trying to help because nobody's helping them.
properly that it was three years the mainstream media and the police Scotland were held it for the public. I've done further research and there was a story 11 years ago in Glasgow University about that same grooming gang. So it's 11 years that they've been at least operating in our country. So we have no idea the scale of that, but it's much, much bigger than the main area. And so guys, like, all I wanted to say is, like I said, for Sanics, for system satanic and it's but ultimately the winter children. Look at what they're doing to all you and now. They're causing debate and conflict between even your own families. And it's just all a massive distraction to really see that they're, they're, they're going to get their hands on your children. They're sending social services in. And ultimately the research I've did recently is that we're trying to stress to people. The Scottish Government have changed the laws. They've brought in the Covert Human Intelligence Sources Act 2021 and it gives covert powers to any of the local authorities that work for the government basically and that includes social services. They can come into your house and lie and, and they, they do it anyway but they can now do it by law and that's why it's so important that we need to raise this awareness and let people know the laws are changing where we're all distracted and fighting each other and ultimately they are going to come in and start removing children through your schools, through your keep talking to your children in schools, etc, etc, and then they'll be in your homes trapping your door saying we heard that he's an arguing, etc, etc, this is where they're going with all this stuff. And you have read all the teaching documents, they can spot this stuff, they can take your children aside in schools from September and ask if your family's been arguing during the lockdown and stuff. Of course families have been arguing because they know and there have been no support from the services. But ultimately they're going to use that against Jews now to start removing children. And this is why like, the kind of need to do a campaign that they need. Because we need to support these people and come together and not let them remove children and stand up for people when they can't stand up for themselves. And that was basically all I wanted to add to all that. And I want to thank everybody again for coming. If anybody doesn't know what happened to us as children, or newspaper reports over there, yeah. considering we won the biggest court case in Europe, when it came to the government and the establishment's debate, they done nothing for victims. The whole time we were going through the HIN inquiry in Northern Ireland, we never had any cognitive kind of therapy. We were never given any respect, nothing. And that was under a government's own inquiry. We got you in court, it was a closed court, and you done it. And as soon as you came out of court, yes, off you went. We had to go back to Northern Ireland twice to do, because our court case was that big. Yeah. Um, and all the other victims, there was 533 of us came forward. Yeah, in Northern Ireland, um, between 2000 uh, and 17, 60 victims committed suicide, which is like opening Pandora's box. Yeah. All together, when we won the court case in 2017, yeah, 19 victims committed suicide. Now, the government won't tell you that. Yeah. But what I'm going to hit on, yeah, is that we're numbers. Anybody can go on the HIA website. Right. I'm 218. I thought it was 219. Because all we are is numbers. The priests and the Christian brothers that raped and abused us are numbers. Because it's a protective case. The perpetrators that raped and abused us, like some of the military, exactly the same. Yeah. They get more protection than the victims do. Yeah. And hi, that is worked out by the government is beyond me. Yeah. Like I said, Sandy, you went through the same song, didn't you? Well, it is, it, the, the system is cor absolutely corrupt to the core. Yeah. Even though we won our case, like somebody said, they can offer you a hundred thousand pounds tomorrow. 
to shut up and say nothing. Uh, we ain't doing that. No chance. No chance. Yeah. Ah. the folks for all the little children that haven't got that punch.
on our referendum register because they're not, uh, they're not published. Uh, people are facing this if they are, 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 they are,
children, and the one who said I was a five-hundred society, and I should be ashamed of myself. And I think more to be concerned with the history, but as far as I think, if someone's not happy. Please can have them in a minute. 
Big piece don't want to do nothing about it and it's shocking. And I'm not going to show up. I'm going to keep using it. Right, right, right. 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 Right,